can be compared. It cannot be compared to anything, oh Lord. You are mighty. You are great. You are powerful. You are awesome. None can be compared to you. None can even stand in your presence. None can even challenge you. Advantage of all of in the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. And you will still remain to be our Father. You still remain to be our God. You still remain to be our King. You still remain to be our Deliverer. You still remain to be our everything. You still remain to be the Lord that you we, we praise each and every day, each and every moment. You still remain to be the King in our lives. You still remain. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, you still remain to be our God. No matter what we go through on a daily basis, Lord, you still remain to be our Father. No matter our situations are tough, oh Lord, my Father, you still remain to be our God. We never depart from your ways. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. again. Amen. I would like for us to give a high five to your neighbor. Just welcome your neighbor as we sing Moyo Wangu. Chesia Buana Kidogo. Sipubwana, siku zote, hallelujah, hallelujah. Imba, imba, anaweza, anaweza, tumshangilie kwa shangwe kubwa, hallelujah. Moyo wangu, moyo wangu. Keep on, keep on, I'm out here. 
offering, lifting our hearts in praise, giving you everything. Lord, we enter, we enter your courts today, bringing our offering, lifting our hands in praise, giving you everything. Lord, we enter, we enter your courts today. in praise, giving you everything, Lord, we enter, we enter your courts today, bringing, bringing our offering, lifting our hands, lifting our hands in praise, giving you everything, wash
Maisha yetu Wewe tunie mungu maishani mwetu Hatuna mungu mwingine wakutegemea Hatuna mungu mwingine wakumkimbilia Jehovah ndio mana asubui ya leo tunakiri Ya kwamba wewe unatosha Jehovah Hata tukijaribu minu gandi Jehovah Haiweze kani bali yako unaweze kana Jehovah Tunakiri uwezo wako, tunakiri uwepo wako, tunakiri uku wako, tunakiri uaminifu wako, maana wewe Jehova unatosha. Katika maisha yetu, wewe unatosha. Katika familia zetu, wewe unatosha. Katika maisha ya watoto wetu, wewe unatosha. Katika maisha ya wazazi wetu, wewe unatosha. Katika kazini mwetu, wewe unatosha. Katika biashara zetu, wewe unatosha. Jehovah tunakiri, wewe unatosha. You are more than enough, Jehovah Jaira. You are more than enough in our lives, O oh Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Hata tukijaribu ya kwamba tunaacha Jehovah we give up Lord. You are still more than enough oh Lord. We will still Jehovah just come back and say Lord, here we are and we surrender oh Lord. You are the strong tower Jehovah Jireh. Oh Russia Jehovah we run unto you oh Lord and my father they are safe oh Lord. Under your wings, oh my father, we feel that we are protected, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jehovah Shalom. 
you are our peace. Where there is no peace, my Father, you have given us enough peace, O oh Lord, that surpasses human understanding. Jehovah Jireh, our provision, O oh Lord, our provider, O oh Lord. Father, as ladies, Jehovah, and the men who are in this house, O oh Lord, we confess that you are everything in our lives, O oh Lord. Jehovah Rapha, our healer, even those people who are not feeling well in their body, so oh Lord, we put our trust on you, oh Lord, that you shall heal our bodies, oh Lord. Thank you because you sent your word that we may be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you because by the stripes, oh Lord, we are healed in Jesus' name. Anybody in this house, anybody in our families, anybody who is lying in that bed in hospital, we speak healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ, anyone that who is heartbroken, anyone who is feeling pieces in her body, in his body, Jehovah Lord, we speak healing, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the Alpha and Omega. Lord, that thing you have begun in our life, that thing you have begun in this nation, that thing you have begun in our families, that thing you have begun in our churches, you shall accomplish them, oh Lord. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are God who promises, and your promises are yes and amen, and we believe, oh Jehovah Jireh, hallelujah, we bless you, thank you because you are Jehovah Nisi, the banner of victory, Lord, we are victors, oh Lord, that battle we've been fighting, oh Jehovah Lord, we know that you are making us victors, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and we shall raise the banner of victory saying that Jehovah Nisi have made us victors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you, Lord. We exalt your name. We magnify your name, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you for our children, Lord. A lot has been going around, O oh Jehovah, Lord. We speak protection upon our children. May you preserve our children, Lord, under your wings, may you protect them, Jehovah. Preserve them for you, mighty Father, Lord. When they go out, my Father, may you protect them, Jehovah, Lord. When they come, oh Lord, back, Holy One, Jesus, we speak your protection, Jehovah, Lord, upon our children in Jesus' name. Your word says when we go out and when we come back, we are blessed. And that blessing we speak upon our families, oh Lord. No any woman, Jehovah, will lose a child, oh Lord, in the hands of the wicked people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come again as a spirit of confusion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is no any confusion in Jesus' name. And Lord, for those people who are doing wicked things, Lord, we just speak that, Lord, may they meet with you, O oh Lord, in the point of their turn around, O oh Lord. May they, Jehovah, come back to their conscience, O oh Lord, and know that what Whatever they are doing are not of your will, that they may come back and confess that you are the Savior, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you for our nation. We thank you for our families, our churches, O oh Lord. We surrender that, Lord, may you have your way. Thank you for this service, O oh Lord. This is the day that you've made, O oh Lord. We are glad and we are rejoicing unto you, O oh Lord. We, are, we have come in your presence expectant, O oh Lord, expecting from you, Jehovah, Lord. And even to that person who just say, let me just go and pass time. Jehovah, Lord, you are meeting with that person, O oh Lord. It doesn't matter the agenda that we've come with, O oh Lord. You are the agenda of today. And Lord, may you have your way. Thank you for this session. Thank you for the speaker, Lord. Father, may you speak through her, O oh Lord. And my Father, may it reach into our hearts, O oh Lord. May it enter in our ears, and may we be the ladies of doers of your word in Jesus' name. Good listeners and good doers of your word. Father, not forgetting the committee. 
Thank you, my Father, Lord. May you continue using them. May you continue giving them what you want them to do, O oh Lord. And thank you for us, O oh Lord. May we give them an easy time, Jehovah. And above all, bless us financially that we may be giving that money to support this ministry, Jehovah. Even give it abundantly more that is needed every month for your work, Jehovah, to continue. Father, we bless you. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And may we give the Lord glory, a shout of thanksgiving, and a shout of a grateful heart. Hallelujah. 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 A shout of a grateful heart. Can you give the Lord a shout that comes from a grateful heart? Hallelujah. Thank you, choir. God bless you. Hi, treasured daughters. Hi, treasured daughters. How are you? Good morning. I'm blessed to be here. Are you blessed? Are you ready to hear from the Lord? Are you ready to be freed? Treasured daughters. Malachi 3.17. If we'll read so quick, Malachi 3.17. On the day when I act, says the Lord Almighty, they will be my treasured possession. I will spare them. Highlight that. I will spare them just as a father has compassion and spares his son who serves him. You serve him in, in a special way, and he's going to spare you. And today, as I'm very expectant, I want to be freed. The agenda of the Lord today, be freed. When the Lord sets you free, you are free indeed. Usijikazie, jiwachilie. Hallelujah. My name is Lillian Mkuzi. I'll be taking you through the service. I want to acknowledge guests among us. Ninani ametutembelea kwa mara ya kwanza. Wageni, tunataka kuwakaribisha kwa fellowship ya ladies. Any visitor, angalie jirani yako. Msalimie, ndio ujue venye utamusema. <laughs> Msalimie, <laughs> alafu niambie kama umeona mgeni. Hakuna mgeni? Unajua jirani yako anaitwa nani? Muulize anaitwa nani? Now that means how kufanya homework. Our chair always reminds us on the wall, kwamba invite a friend. Now you are coming to receive goodies without a friend. Unajuanga tukwe kama watoto, mtoto akifanyia kitu kizuri friend yake, the whole week anasikia ko heaven. So can we take that initiative to tafut? Mi nimekuja na mgeni by the way. Hataki kujisema ako hapo. Mamkarei, uyo ni mgeni. Uyo tu, uyo jirani yako. No, ye ni mgeni kwa hii fellowship. Mini mekuja na mgeni, chair. Yeah. Wacha asimame atusalimie. She's my beautiful helper. Yeah. Uh, I want to remind us of our monthly contributions, the 200 that we are giving out every month. Please let us commit ourselves. The finances helps us running many things in the Ladies Fellowship. We all know. Cindy, so to kumbuke, at treasure apo, we have tried to put our pay bill. We can use our pay bill for today, ukikuwa church yako, use the, church, the pay bill in your church, but in the account, state that it is for ladies fellowship. Whichever pay bill you will use, bora ikuwe ya sirikuwa Pentecostal, but indicate the account as ladies fellowship. Sindio, ni naomba mungu atubariki tuweze kufanikisha hayo. Also, we want to encourage people to be in teams. 
na wenye tayari tuko kwa teams huwa <laughs> tunacheka kuna wenye wali, walienda kwa timu zingine wakifata marafiki we love that but we would love in this kingdom of our god that we make new friends so that us all we may rejoice in his presence sasa so, so imagine mnakutana marafiki nyote kwa timu moja na tunajua hatuko sawa si ndio tuko na characters tofauti we need to live to one another si ndio so tafadhali kwa hizo teams hata wenye wanasema they are not active be the one to make that team active sawa sawa wewe mwenye una feel huo mzigo wa kusema hii team haiko active be the initiator of activeness in that team engage yourself so much come up with a slogan unaona yenye ilifanyika mission center eh tujifeel namna hiyo tuko watoto wa Mungu tukuje na slogans zetu si ndio tutengeneze new friends within the team na Mungu atawabariki the next date of the the meeting for next month will be on 27th April 2024 we will state the venue and time but mark your calendar that it will happen on 27th April 2024 our hosting team in April will be Deborah Esther and Priscilla Deborah Esther Priscilla Deb Sawa yeah. uh, then we would like to inform all ladies ile nguo yetu ya Christmas yenye tulinunua last month tuiweke vizuri tuichunge because we will be having many outdoor activities sema hallelujah ni nani nimemgusa ni nani nimegusa roho yake aseme hallelujah yes we'll be having more activities outdoor activities so nisichokoze mwingine hapo ni rafiki yangu amesema atanunua nyingine so tusiende sokoni <laughs> lakini tuiweke vizuri because we will use them suna mambe jirani yako suna yeah Uh, sorry then we have a, another announcement anybody that any lady that feels god has done something in his life you have a testimony to share any type of testimony a testimony lifts another soul Sindio. Mimi mwenye nimefeel siezi pitia kuna mwenye amepitia ukiniambia sitakufa moyo sita shrink si ndio it's another way of serving god testimonies and they are great would like anybody of such to get in touch with angela omobe mrs angela please raise your hand she's at the back get in touch with angela omobe we will do something about that maybe we will record it maybe we will type it don't worry we will make sure it gets to people sawa sawa then we are preparing for a hike is okay lele as fanani hike We are preparing for a hike. Suna. Simona sasa zimeanza. We are not telling you when. We are just letting you know that we will need you to support us financially. So mukifanya budget mweke kwa piggy bank kitu kidogo. Sawa sawa. Time ikifika we will let you know so isikue kitu mgeni kwenu. Sawa sawa. Tumebarikiwa. I will call choir for this time mukuje mtupatie theme song as we give our offering. Ashes to say Diani.
hope nimekuwa leader mzuri kwa hii pulpit kwangi rais I have a father. Amen. That's our theme song. Sawa sawa. I have a maker. He for my heart. Before even time began, my life was in his hands. We can sing together the first verse. I have a maker.
you when you call. He is your daddy. Sawa, sawa. At this juncture, I would like to welcome our speaker who is ready to hear. Who is ready to hear? We are going to introduce our speaker for today. She will take us through the sermon today because I want to be freed. Put your hands and welcome my namesake, Lillian. Karibu sana. I would like our chair to bless you. Hallelujah, beauties. Praise the Lord. How are you? Let us pray for our treasured daughter as she ministers. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are before your throne of mercy, Lord, with hearts full of thanksgiving. Thank you for you being to us, O oh God, and thank you for this day that you made, my Father. I worship you over your servant, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the word that you have for us, O oh Master. We are praying as we invite your presence, O oh Jehovah God, that you shall take over, take charge, O oh Lord. Water our dear sister, Lord, and dear Master, let your treasures, my Father, fall over her and fall over us, O oh God, as they flow as my father, the, 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 the anointing oil did flow, my father, through Aaron's robes, O oh God. We sanctify, Lord, your word, and we pray that Jesus shall do its work in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Good morning, praise and going to be free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to be free. When you are a treasured daughter, the Lord does not want you to be. He, is, he treasures you, so he wants you to be free. He wants you to have, you know, all the nice things, isn't it? And even as we just came in this morning and we were received at the usher's table and we were you know, we were given this. We felt special. Yes. yes, we are special to the Lord. Praise the Lord. And um, today, we are going to go straight into that. And um, our scripture today is from, the, from Galatians. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. Uh, Galatians but you know the front page of the Bible, the first page, the one that has, yes, the end, that is also part of the Bible. Just go over there and then get Galatians. Yeah? That is part of the Bible. So we're going to read Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. For it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Praise the Lord. For it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm. You know, the, the teachers of English would... Um, would, would, uh, would tell us why there is for freedom that Christ has set us free. You know, there's freedom and free. He has not set us free for something else. Sindio, it is for freedom that he has set us free. You get. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. Praise the Lord. Meaning, we 
we get we, we, we come to the Lord and then we are like, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Allah Futena. Again, we go back and pick up our yoke. Yeah? So maybe we are just going to define what a yoke in this uh, case for today will be. Um, a yoke was is a burden. You know, a yoke is a burden that influences. You see, a yoke, uh, uh, I grew up in the village and we used to plow with animals and there was always, they were in pairs. So there's something that used to be put a wooden structure on their necks that they could not turn. Yani, they were supposed to plow when they your line. So that yoke would influence. So a yoke is a burden, you know, that influences. Praise the Lord. In some cases, the influence is so powerful that even the way we speak, the way we eat, the way we, we do, everything is filtered through the yoke. That is how much, how powerful a yoke can be. Um, and we interpret a lot of things through our yokes. Yeah? Just so we are clear, it's sile yoke ya mayai. You know, some of us are thinking about the sandwich. No nele sandwich, ukikata boiled egg. My friend Charity and I went to the same school. And on Sunday, there used to be boiled eggs. And we used to make sandwiches out of those boiled eggs. Hey, they were something to live for. We're talking about the yoke, the burden that is over here. That weighs you down. And in that weight, it influences the way you do things. It, you do things through the filter of that yoke. But today the Lord is setting us free, yes. And um, it, it makes us turn a certain direction. It makes us, you know, it forces us. A yoke is something forceful. Praise the Lord. But then in um, a yoke, but today, this yoke, we want to break free. And that involves breaking free from the burdens of the yoke, the limitations of the yoke, the thought patterns of the yoke, the belief systems, and the oppressive situations today. Cindy, today. Praise the Lord. Can we go to Matthew uh, chapter 11, verse 28? Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. What is to be weary? You know, weary, when you're burdened, you're carrying something, your hands are hanging limp, everything of yours is, is cooperating with gravity, ukotu ivi, everything. Mm? Your eyes want to sleep, your mouth is turned like this. Everything is cooperating with gravity. You're weary. Praise the Lord. So, the Lord today wants us to be free, and, and, and Matthew 11 continues, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. So, a yoke is a yoke. You choose which yoke you want. Cindy, but a yoke, there's something that must direct us. There's something that must influence us. So, the Lord is saying, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. The Lord's yoke is a choice. He says, take my yoke upon yourself. But the yoke that burdens us and causes us to be weary is forced on us by circumstances, by, you know, many, the, our, our fallen nature. Yeah? 
for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um, maybe I can just uh, quickly give you um, maybe just some examples, some yokes, like serious yokes that we believers um, are weighed down by, and most of the times we think that it is, it is uh, uh, long suffering. Long suffering is the one that is the fruit. Ama, it's the gift. The fruit, yes. So we think it is, we are just long suffering. Maybe the committee will one day uh, tell us what that means, long suffering. So we have the yoke of the prover. People who wear this yoke of the prover are always working to prove their worth. You know, I am, you know, they are always, they, they always believe that they don't amount to anything. So we are always trying to prove our worth. They, they, they need to do more. They need to, you know, to keep on, uh, um, to achieve enough, you know, to want a lot more, maybe love. There's that, uh, the prover. But the problem is, no matter what the prover does, it's never enough. So that yoke is always there. It can never, it, nothing can never enough. And therefore, you can never have rest. The yoke of the pleaser. The pleaser thinks, if I just do enough for others to make them happy, then I'll be happy. Does that sound familiar? If I just run myself ragged doing what others want me to do, fulfilling every request, and never saying no. If I jump through ropes, people will love me and God will love me. That is the background music that plays in the mind of a pleaser. There's always music that is playing in our background that influences how we think, how we behave, how we do certain things. And so with pleasers, they end up feeling used because they, they, they end up feeling used by other people, but they really are the ones who put themselves in that situation. So they find themselves not at peace, they are worn out, they are, ban they are burdened, and they become resentful, isn't it? There's the yoke of the rescuer. Hey, the rescuer just feels nice when people say, we can't do it without you. Eh, kama haunge kuja, we, 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 we. Enye, we, 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 ndio ule mse. Eh? That is the rescuer. They just feel, ah, ah, there's that addiction to that statement that you, you are what we needed. In fact, eh? Ata kama umechelewa, we are just glad you're here. Yeah? So the, the rescuer puts on their cape, kama ile ya Spider-Man, and runs to the rescue. Hmm? And then we do that and do that until the day when we have a feeling that we are no longer needed. Then that becomes a crisis. Yeah. I, I hope this is, is very familiar to many of us. But the tragedy of a rescuer is the day when they can't fix something and then they feel like failures. Yeah? But Leo Nile, Leo Nileo. We are going to take on the Lord's yoke that is much easier. Then um, the yoke of the selfist. This is the yoke of the person who says, I live for me. My pleasures are mine, my plans are mine, my happiness comes fine. 
like some of us put on our status in the beginning of the year, and we normally say, this year is about me. <laughs> this year, it is me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yo, so, so some of us are like that. Eh? So we, we try to self-embrace, but that is not possible. When you self-embrace, how far can your hands go? You can only do this, like this. Eh? You, you can't, your arms can't go all around you. And so that becomes a yoke because there's just never enough to go around. So it would be good for us to just think, even as we process our yokes, exactly, these are very broad categories, but most, many yokes fall around uh, these four areas. And so um, we, we would, it's just something for us to, to think about. So um, today we are going to have an exercise where we are going to think about our burdens, our yokes, and we are going to give them over to the Lord. Praise the Lord. And just to maybe reiterate, is the word yoke is used to connote, connote eh, Angela, connotate slavery. <laughs> it is slavery. A yoke is about slavery, about submission, about, you know, service to something. So, there are many of us who um, are submitting to our yokes. And I just want to give us um, um, an example. And, and these things are part of us because of Genesis chapter 3 where we have fallen. You know, we are fallen, but there is the word of God which is the truth. And we must measure our lives and each situation, measure it against the truth. Check it against the truth. The truth of the word of God is we are treasures, isn't it? We are beautiful. We have been made in the image of God. Yeah? And if you remember in the Bible, every time there was slavery, when the children of Israel would be taken into exile, they would be in slavery, they would be under yoke, but it would be because of turning away from God. But then they would cry to the Lord and, they would, and the Lord would rescue them, isn't it? And so uh, Jesus is saying that his yoke is a choice. With every decision we make, we can choose our burden. We can choose the, what is easy or we can choose what is heavy, yeah? The Lord does not want to force his yoke on us. He wants us to choose him and filter our lives through him. So some examples of a yoke can be, out of the four I've given you, this can produce bitterness, anger, resentment, unforgiveness, impatience, unfaithfulness, procrastination, forgetfulness, recklessness, laziness, and many others. But the two that we tend to just accept very easily, forgetfulness and procrastination. That is the weapon that the enemy is using. So that when we forget things easily, you know, and we tell ourselves, I, I Musa, how squeezy, <laughs> I don't know. I will always just, if I don't calendarize it, I'll not remember. You remember that is a yoke. And everything else will be filtered through it. Even when we sit here, we have accepted the yoke of forgetfulness. When we move out of the gate, eh, we have forgotten. Yeah. So remember that forgetfulness is a weapon that the enemy uses against us. Please note, a person is not a yoke. <laughs> a 
I know some of us are thinking, me that person, ah, that is my yoke. Aki, that is my yoke. I'm going to really, hey, naenda kufua hiyo yoke leo. No. A relationship and a person is not a yoke. Okay. So some of us who are ready to jump out and say, ah, 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 tuliambiwa na Lilianendela leo. Mimi wewe ni York, tumemalizana. <laughs> Please note, a person or a relationship is not a York. This relationship and people are part of our life here on earth. They are part of the reason that God created us. Yeah? So, note, we have control over our yokes. We choose the yokes we want. See you at I chose this, 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 this uh, person in my life. Now this is my yoke. When ni bebe msalaba, niende kal, vari, apana. So a yoke is bitterness, anger, resentment, unforgiveness, impatience, unfaithfulness. I kwanza impatience. Eh. If I'm waiting for you and you're not picking your call, how does that make you begin to feel? Every minute, mtu amechelewa kuna kakitu kananzanga kurise, sindio? You start feeling amenidharau. By the time this person arrives, you are just supposed to have ice cream. Ata sasa si ice cream. Inakuwa siji, iyo dawa. Yani, you're eating ice cream, but it's tasting like ginger and garlic and lemon and you get. Hmm? Yeah, so for me, that is one thing that the Lord, I believe and I trust and I pray that that is something I'll be delivered from. So um, I would like us to get, see, do you notice you're in some kind of groups? Yes, you're in some groups and I want us to go into our groups. The people on the edges, that is purple and yellow, move to the very end. The, ve the red, yes, move to the very end. And then these guys move to the very end so that then we have space in the middle. Let's go into our groups. And those groups have their group leaders. So come together in a group, you know, so that you can have a conversation. Yeah. And we are only going to give you how many minutes? Please go into your groups. If someone is wearing something that looks like, you, like yours, please get into your groups. And then, in those groups, uh, put yourselves into fours. Into fours. Four of you. Have you found the four, have you formed the four groups? In your main group, you come with, a, you need to be four of you. Are we done? Have you been given a printout? So, we are going to we are going to have a, a guide. Eh? So, what we are going to do is we are going to identify our yokes eh? and we are going to share the four of us. 
Eh? We are going to identify our yokes. And this is how we are going to identify our yokes. These are the, def these are the symptoms. If you feel this symptom, hmm? isn't your symptoms? You remember we talked about our yokes, eh? what those are. So, this you should take two minutes to personally, not the four of you, think about your yokes. Eh? Are you feeling stifled? You might feel like your thoughts, feelings, or actions are being restricted. So that when you look at me, you begin to think I'm looking at you, Sijui Aje. Yeah. So, if, are you feeling like a like something when you feel, you know, eh? Are you feeling stifled? Do you lack, do you feel a lack of freedom? You might feel like you don't have the freedom to make choices or decisions that are important to you. That can be filtered through a yoke. Do you sometimes feel trapped? Remember, it's not a person or a relationship. You might feel stuck in a situation or, or that is limiting your ability to grow. Maybe it is not being truthful. You know, Nikotu naenda hivi na kam. That is not being truthful. Yeah? So, some of us, that is a yoke. Naenda hivi na kam. Resentment. You might feel resentful towards others because of circumstances, because what they, maybe what they have done, what they have not done, what they said, what did they did not say, what they did or did not even do. You know, so you feel a certain resentment. Do you sometimes feel a loss of joy? Those are symptoms of a yoke. Um, you might find that there are some activities or relationship that no longer give you joy. Yeah? So those are some of the things we need to identify. And the most important, do you desire for change? There are some things we think sometimes and we ask ourselves, you know? Yeah, so please receive your printouts. There is a guide on, um, on, on the self-reflection. Eh? Yes, you are allowed to ask questions. Purpose, if they are enough. Uh, because this is something you can always go home with and, you know, this is a process. It's just not um, a one-time thing. So this will guide you on even how to continue to be free. Yeah? So please take two minutes to think about this, and then uh, the four of you, please discuss and uh, just talk about your yokes and what you think you want to do about it. Yeah? And then we can get back together in another 15 minutes. Okay? Please uh, find your group lead who is going to give you more instructions if you need. Yeah? Group leader, there's Lizzie for that group red. Raise your hand. There's Winnie for this group. And then um, Juliet is in the other group. Where's Carol? Yes, Carol is the group lead for this. Once you're done, they'll give you more instructions. Yeah? Let's meet in 15 minutes.
Hey, praise the Lord. Are we done? Are we done? That's where you have the take home. You can take home and then uh, take the numbers of your group members. You can share. You can continue to share. See, now you have made another three friends. Mm. So take their number, continue to share together. And uh, let's get back to our positions, please. Please give your feedback to your group leaders. Just the general feeling, how have you felt um, doing this exercise? Yeah? So the group leads, please walk around and get the feedback. Please go around and get your feedback. The group lead who is ready, please come and give us your presentation. Yeah, come and tell us how um, your group did. Yeah, this is an exercise that we can continue even when we are having tea, isn't it? So, please, um, let's continue. Um, just give us your feedback and then uh, continue. And, and the committee is here to give way forward. Um, just more discussions as we are having tea. I'll be available. The rest of the committee will be available to just give. So maybe Carol, please come and give um, just a feedback of about a minute of the general um, feeling of this exercise. Carol? You, you can keep your, your sheets for discussion, for more discussions uh, at tea time. Carol, and then uh, Winnie, and then Juliet, and then Lizzie. Just a minute. Okay. <laughs> Praise God. Juliet's group. So from Team Blue, we did a lot more talking than writing, <laughs> but I'll try and present what I have. We're able to identify some of the yokes, which include being judgmental, anger, security, 
impatience, forgetfulness, societal expectations, stressful jobs, joblessness, uh, impatience, and unmet family expectations. And we learned that some of these can separate these issues. These issues can separate you from people because being judgmental, for example, if you look at someone and judge who they are and you really don't interact with them, you, it will separate you from them. And also things like insecurity, there's the issue of constant feeling of uh, not being enough because of situations from the past. But from my group, we were able to discuss that all members are working towards bringing a change in their lives in this. But again, one thing we noted is that uh, despite the fact that all of us have these different yokes, right? Everyone, kila mtuakonayake, there is a reason why we each have those, okay? Because there is some positiveness to it. For example, someone with anger, there is a good part to it because if you're in a team with an impatient person or an, someone who has anger, you will ensure that you're doing things in the right way so that we are isn't it? Yeah, so we're just trying to look at it on the other side. But again, we don't, we are not embracing saying that it's good, but we are working towards changing it. So we all have our yokes for a reason, but the main thing is we need to know how to manage them, uh, all for the glory of God. Thank you. Good morning. We have three minutes to noon. So, uh, purple team. Uh, so I, I, I think we had very meaningful discussions going on. No, no, you, Mama, and Apenda Konge. So it works very well. Sorry to interrupt, Winnie. KDE 881. Kindly move your car. Kindly. So, so, uh, so I think I will share mainly on the feeling that most of us had after the exercise. But I think just to say that it, one, there's one person who has said something that, that made me feel, Eish, okay. This person said, I think the speaker had me in mind. Wow, I was like, eh, okay, we needed this, you know? So, so, so the feeling after the exercise from a number of groups in my team was a feeling of relief because for some reason, like the person who said, it's such a relief to know that what I am going through, someone else is going through. It is so relieving. Then the other one was that, Kumbe, I have the strength to take action. Kumbe, I can take action about what I am going through. And, and, and that is also very freeing. It's very freeing to know that you can do something about where you are at. Because when you feel trapped, you may want to imagine you have no way out, but the feeling of knowing that I can take action about it. Then, the, the need to constantly take stock was something someone else said. And then letting go of things that hinder my growth is something someone else said. Another person said that it was good to know that there is help, that I can actually find help, and that it was eye-opening to know that see mutu ndio yok. That it was very eye-opening to that person that, hey, yeah, so I shouldn't be carrying people. It is not the people. Eh? Yes. So I think that is what I would quickly pick from my group. Thank you very much.
Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Praise Jesus. So uh, I was with Team Yellow. Mko fine. You are your key people. <laughs> so um, from my group, sasa sijui wataongea na na speaker, but one thing that has come out strongly, as much as speaker mesema relationship si York, New York. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> but yeah, we will continue with the discussions later. So, yeah, eh, lakini wakasema, si wenye wako close sana kama spouse ama children, wale wa? <laughs> okay, and in my group, there were also young people, and they said um, the, source, the source of their of their yoke mostly is uh, societal expectations and sometimes Vile, the speaker said you don't have to, to do you you have to do you to survive <laughs> yes so sometimes you just have to say uh, uh, this this person these people know for you to to be able to move on especially from the expectations of the society and then there is another yoke that came up, the yoke of affirmation. Mtu akikuja hapa, you sing, then someone tells you nothing, like you sang well, you feel, hey, really? Did I minister well? Did I sing well? Did I do well? Ama, you've come from home, ume, umeva yako yote. Lakini no one tells you anything for a whole eight hours and then, until you go back home. Hata kwa nyumba yako mwenyewe hakuna mwenye anakuambia. So, the yoke of affirmation. And then, mm, the feeling. Oh, the, another problem uh, is it's that it is ourselves who are, I would say who are the yokes. Like, we are pleasers, we are rescuers, we are approvers, we are selfists. So, like a member said, uh, they've, they, they've always been rescuers, but when their time for to being rescued came, no one was there for them. So I think they have vowed not to rescue anyone. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but the, we have found out that we, we, we are sometimes we can be the yokes by being these people. We please people so much. We are there for people so much. We are approvers or and such kinds of things. And then there is this one general feeling that came out that once they shared in the groups, uh, we've, they felt like a problem shared is halfway solved because none of them is yokeless, yeah? Everyone each has a yoke, but God will help us to go to figure it out. And then, yeah, the like when you you see when you share something with someone and they also identify with you so that is a feeling of relief and it is just a refreshing feeling so timielo i hope ni mefanya justice Hello, your team mukona kilele sana. You're projecting the nini. <laughs> Ama that's how freedom looks like. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, um, I'm representing Team Red and I'll be very quick. Uh, the major feelings that they expressed was they felt good after sharing. They felt re-energized because they were able to offload. And you mkiambiwa mkuja ngezi meetings, mkuja. Because this is the offloading. <laughs> and I'm 100% sure you picked out something that you will take to your friends to and tell them, do you know what, whatever that issue you are dealing with, that's a yolk. Yeah. Um, there's also feeling warmth. 
Um, I think it comes from knowing each other and also making more friends and uh, meeting new people and making new, new relationships. And I hope um, the relationships will be continued and fostered. Isishi apo kwa yu mlango, that will be a yoke ukitoka. Some say it, uh, it's good that you share that they, now they have the idea on how to deal with the yolk. And one of them uh, um, aired that how to control anger and that that's something that you can actually deal with. And Najua wengine wetu tunakwanga na short fuse. Inakwanga two, once, twice. The third, why are you even breathing? <laughs> anyway, yeah. And also the feeling that we don't have to be stuck. There's a solution. And this was our solution today. And also the practice of self-care. That that should be a major, major practice that we need to do. And yeah. Um, wamama, I thought wamama wanakwanga na self-care. Sana, sana. I didn't know it was a yoke. Okay, I didn't know it was a struggle. Watch I need cable. Yeah, but practice self care. Take yourself out. Actually, there's someone who asked, is taking yourself to the nail um, to do your nails in salon self care? You think? Hmm. <laughs> what I think is it will put a dent into my pocket no but I'm kidding uh, <laughs> it's, it's part of self care and for me personally one of the self care that I've been struggling with is accepting help and support from people yeah Nakwanga very miss independent yeah um, other said the time was Kidogo so maybe next time you do until four. Yeah, I think it's it's the <laughs> it's the heaviness of the yeah the burdens and the yokes. I feel like we have a lot of yokes hmm, that we need to deal with. So next time, um, another one was also the selfish. I'm one of them. That's usually my nikingianga um, muaka. I'm like, it's you, the Lord, and me alone. We are doing this live. But uh, it's a big lie. The Lord has given us community. He has given us people. And it is always beautiful to share. And the first commandment is love. Love yourself as you love your. So there's no way you'll do life by yourself. Um, uh, another one was free. But they have been left with the question, how do we deal with this yoke? Yes. Um, yeah, I think. Oh, and, and we also had young people in our group. And uh, one of the things that flabbergasted her was parents do sacrifice a lot. <laughs> but thank you, parents, for sharing. Uh, I think one thing I'll just say is the level of healing that you want to experience depends on the level of vulnerability and the amount in which you're willing to share with another person. So the healing depends on you. Amen. for sharing ladies thank you to the group leads that was amazing and um, uh, can we just uh, maybe we can quickly wind up um, by saying um, 
what we can do is that um, we can do we can take positive changes, positive steps to live with the freedom. Yeah, freedom is about knowing your yoke, being conscious, and making a decision to let it go. Yeah, and so um, some of the ways now that we are free, freedom means information. You've got information, isn't it? So some of the ways to embrace this freedom celebrate and embrace that freedom celebrate it set your boundaries yeah connect with others a lot of us our yokes come from others so let's connect with others we continue learning as we've talked about uh, uh, practice self-care reflect on your journey and the changes you want to make focus this is very important focus on what you can control what you cannot control because me I went and ate nyamachoma you can't control see me I ate I'm the one who got satisfied yeah so practice mindfulness be present stay present live today live every moment and the, another very important is set realistic expectations for yourself and for other people yeah we expect other people to be like Jesus to us you know and we also expect to be Jesus and that's not possible yeah you can't save anybody you can't die for anybody Jesus already saved us and he died for us isn't it yes so shikilia iyo so now we want to pray a prayer of freedom. Isn't it? See on Ipoa. But maybe I want you to just write down these scriptures that you can read at home uh, so that you can uh, continue to walk in freedom. We have um, Psalm 119.45. I will walk about in freedom. That's the Bible, Psalm 119.45. Uh, Galatians 5.13, you are called to freedom. 1 Peter 2.16, sorry, Fa, uh, Galatians 5.13, you are called to freedom. 1 Peter 2.16, live as people who are free. Cindy. We don't go telling people, by the way, I'm free. By the way, I'm free. Mumeona venye niko free. Live as people who are free. Okay. Um, Romans 6.18. We have been set free from sin so that we can be slaves of righteousness. Yeah. So John 8.36. So if the sun sets you free you are free indeed you hold on to that because the, 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 the societal expectations as we walk out of this uh, place there are voices that will speak to you but you must know that you have been set free and you are free indeed so John 8 31 and 32 if you abide in my word you are my true disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free um, look at everything through the eyes of the truth the truth is the word of God yeah test everything against the truth of the word of God yeah so <clears throat> I'd like us to pray um, let us stand let us ask the Lord to help us to live in freedom because he has already set us free isn't it so it is us to take up his yoke that is easy to take up the freedom which is the experience of the fruit of the holy spirit take up the fruit the, take up the freedom of love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 
that is our prayer today, ladies. When we live, and remember the fruit of the Holy Spirit is one, all these things. You don't say, Mimi le fruit, ni konayo boss, ni faithfulness. Me, your love, apana. Uh -uh. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is one. And that is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yeah. So I just want us to go before the Lord and ask the Lord to help us. Let the Holy Spirit help us to live in freedom, walk in freedom, because the Lord has already set us free. We are not asking to be set free. Jesus died so that we can be free, isn't it? So our prayer is that the Lord will help us to walk in freedom. So take a minute and just ask the Lord. Put this thing that is, has been your yoke before the Lord and ask the Lord to help you overcome. Yeah? So let us pray. Our Father and our God, Lord, this afternoon we are so thankful that you have called us your own. You have bought us with the precious blood of Jesus. And you have given us your word that sets us free. Father, we thank you that Jesus came to die so that we can be set free. That we can walk in the freedom to do that which you are calling us to do. To be able to achieve these purposes that you have created us for, O oh God. So this afternoon, Lord, we come to you, we ask that you would help us to take up your yoke that is easy. To take up your yoke that has love, that has patience, that has kindness. That, Father, we shall live these things every day. And that Jehovah God, in all that we do, your purpose for our lives will come to pass. And Lord, we cannot achieve your purposes for us without freedom when we are under the yoke of the enemy. Father, we ask this day that you would cause us to take the courage to walk into our freedom in the name of Jesus. As we take the steps, O oh Father, we ask that the Holy Spirit would uphold us. The Holy Spirit will continue to remind us to walk in this freedom that you have graciously given us, O oh God. Cause us to remember, show us in everything that we do. Help us to catch ourselves. When we do something, Jehovah, remind us, no, that is not walking in freedom. Walk in this way. Let there be a voice behind us, behind us telling us, walk in this way. This is the way you should walk. And Lord, we thank you for this freedom. Thank you that you have called us your treasured daughters. Thank you that because we are special and treasured to you, you give us opportunities like this. Father, we are thankful. Receive all honor and glory because you are a good God and you do all things well. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word that is timely, that gives us direction. Your word that is truth to us. Your word that is bread to us, that is bread of life for us. I pray, Father, that your word will reveal your heart to us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we shall be truly women who have been freed by you, who are walking in liberty to be able to do that which you're calling us to do, in the name of Jesus. So receive honor and glory, because you're a good God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, ladies. Please remember... remember to walk in your freedom this is something that should help you to remember your commitment to freedom okay praise the lord
hii haitoshi Mungu uwe tupatie Mungu makofi Yeah you can scream anyhow that's for your father and let us appreciate our teacher May God bless you The same way you have watered us The same way you have watered the treasured daughters they feel so treasured I feel so treasured aren't you We are now packaged with information of freedom and we know where freedom comes from and i appreciate all ladies when you are kuja hapa clap for yourself you have come you have turned out into great numbers we really appreciate even the the other committee walikuwa wakisimama hapa wanasema it is so difficult for a committee to plan and people wakose kufika so it is true and we are honored to see almost full church we pray that we will bring many to receive these things that we get from ladies we have a lot of things to share sindio hata tumeona kwanza ukibilong kwa timielo Sindio Sijui ni juu tumeangukia kubilong na mwalimu so tume tap your connection tukaelewa vizuri hizi yoke Sindio we are glad that we are learning something out of everything that we are taught I'm very sure no one is leaving that door without something in their heart and I know that you have someone at heart mwenye umeka na yeye you think of praying for her you think of getting in touch with her tuendele hivyo si ndio huo ndio muhimu wa fellowship that is the real fellowship real fellowship si kukuja hapa kusikia kupata snack kuenda following up is part of the fellowship sawa sawa and one thing that has really touched me young ladies in the house please stand Let us appreciate them young ladies in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think one lady or two identified themselves. They are free to identify themselves as young ladies. I'm kujua you are all young ladies. But nyinyi mlishindwa kuelewa you are free have that courage from today you mambo do yourself as long as it pleases god do yourself one thing i have learned from doing myself i gain courage and at the last sitangojea mtu aniambie mpaka uniambie uko free tumeambiwa you don't need to tell a person that you are free You yourself will know that you are free. No one will confirm to you that you are free. Wewe mwenyewe uta confirm na kuaffirm that you are free. I have testified I have tested of that freedom somewhere sometimes back. And so it was a confirmation for me. Thank you my dear. Thank you my dear. Nafikiri pia mimi ni wale wenye nime nimenenewa. Asante ni the young ladies that you have identified we are hoping to get many of you that statement saying that ati kuna young lady am identify kumbe wa mama wana amesemaje i have parents sacrifice a lot the question i grasped is does that statement affect that person negatively or positively unless that young lady walks with us she will get to the right direction whether that statement will impact negatively or positively he, she won't get that answer correctly outside there so we need to recruit as many as possible and i would like to say this next month young ladies mujilete ka wote amuta regret sawa sawa yeah we love you We are your mothers. Oh, nitafika hapo. 
yeah, we are your mothers and we love you. Cindy, I would like to call our chair to say something before I call hosting team. We will have one of us representing the teams. Our hosting teams were are Abigail, uh, Mary, and Elizabeth. Can you appreciate them at a before? Yeah, so I'll call our chair to say a word to our uh, preacher for today. Then. Hi, treasures. How are you? Praise God. Are you set free? Yeah, we are set free. Thank you so much for coming. May the Lord bless you. I believe we are meant for each other and we appreciate our sister. How many of us are? Can we tuna some flowers and we pack them? Who's packing them? Somebody stand up and offer them to our sister. Yes, teacher Anne, stand up. Oh, come, 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 come. Docas. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you for being a frontier. <laughs> to whom much has been uh, forgiven, much is given. So she, we are picking the flowers. Can you hand them over? Pack and hand over. Uh, amen. <laughs> Yeah, we thank God so much for coming and we are appreciating our sister in style. Uh, yeah, we can rise up. How many golden ages are here? Where is mom? Come, 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 come. <laughs> These are the fruits of your labors. Come. At least the two are enough. <laughs> yes, mom, come. <laughs> Come, 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 come. Yeah. We want to appreciate our sister. We have a small gift of appreciation. Just uh, take it. Yeah, good. Open it and cover her so that the Lord may water her the way she has watered us. Yeah, get hold of it and you cover her. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Yes, can Good job. Thank you, moms. Thank you. Thank you. So, it's written before this one corner which is embroidered, we decided to be ourselves. And it's purple, a color of honor. And mom, mom, Perez can read for us. Guess what? <laughs> Be watered as you have watered treasured daughters. Okay. Thank wow. you, Olden Edges, for the good job. Next time, it will be another age bracket, which will appreciate our speakers. <laughs> so Lillian, please, we appreciate. And I request that we go out with the same. Our hosting teams, please, where are you? Oh, hold on a bit. We want to pray. The Golden Age just want to speak a blessing of our the speaker. Please and do the praying and then the hosting team can come take over. They will introduce if they have to themselves and then after introduction you can uh, yeah, you can uh, pray for whatever is before us and the order of service is that we enter through this door I'm at this other one and then we'll exit through the Sunday, Sunday school building with our snacks and every other thing. I think they have more. more. Just come and pray over our daughter, over your daughter. Judy. This was my daughter, my secretary, 
I've seen her grow in this church a secretary double during my occasions. And I've been told to pray about, over her. You have already blessed us. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you with thanksgiving. We exalt your name and praise you. Father, you are a Lord who has given us the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for my daughter who has watered us today as treasured as, as, tre as treasures. We glorify you for her. You are expanding her boundaries and even giving her a higher level. We thank you for each and everybody because we are going out more filled than when we came in. We want to thank you for the ladies committee and even for the ladies fellowship as we continue grabbing each other's hand. In Jesus name we pray. Praise the Lord, ladies, Amen. treasured daughters, hallelujah. Amen. Did you feel the freedom? Yes. yes. In fact, I think uh, today's message was mine, huh? Lillian. <laughs> yes. Why am I saying so? Well, when, I, when I look at uh, all these symptoms here, I think for the past week, I have battled with uh, feeling trapped in a situation, feeling resentment, having physical symptoms, losing joy, age, desire for change. And I said, it is good I came, huh? because I've been reminded that um, the yoke of my master is lighter. So why carry a burden that uh, I cannot? Huh? Why am I saying this? Maybe I just, you know, it is a wonder that I was even called to pray, yeah? So I can talk about this. <laughs> yes, you see how, how, how God works, huh? Because in my house and with all these battles, you know, but we've talked about it and I feel like the Lord has been lifted off and I'm asking myself, why were you even carrying a load that was not yours? Now, let me just give, a, allow me to give a brief background. Huh? I'm a teacher by profession. And uh, I teach at a school called University of Eldoret High School. Uh, how, how many of us have seen something trend about that school? Uh, some of us may have seen it, some of us maybe not. Huh? And what is trending is that we practice witchcraft. Yes, for whatever reason. And uh, of course, if the principal practices witchcraft, the deputy principal, of course, is also enjoined. Huh? I'm the deputy principal in that school. <laughs> so for things happened and the, the message out there is that we practice witchcraft so that thing has weighed me throughout the week I have resented that school the work environment I feel like I'm trapped in a situation I don't know because I have no idea how it came about so, but I thank God that I've been reminded that uh, I am free in Christ Jesus, yes. And the truth that I stand for is what gives me freedom. So I think from uh, now on, it's, it's no longer a bother to me because uh, those who are doing it have their own reasons, have their own uh, agendas. Until last evening, I was, I was leaving work. I was actually sick. I passed through the market and I felt like fainting. <laughs> and I look and say, physical symptoms. <laughs> I, I had to sit down. Yes, but I thank God that I am free. And that matter I will no longer bother me. I don't want to dwell on it. God uh, has already taken control. So ladies, these burdens 
some you realize there's nothing you can do about it. But for the ones that you can do something about, do something about it. As we pray and trust God to, to fight for us. So I am blessed to be here and God purpose that I'm here so that he reminds me that as his treasured daughter, I have been freed. And no scheme of the enemy will prevail over me because I am his, his daughter. Um, we are the hosting team. That is uh, Team Abigail. I belong to Team Abigail. Then we have Team Elizabeth. Team Elizabeth, okay, Team Abigail, if you are a member of Team Abigail, maybe they are busy in the kitchen, but those who are here, Abigail, then Elizabeth. Yes, clap for them. Then Team Mary. Yes, amen. Amen. So let us continue working together as teams. Let us be active in, in our teams. So let us pray for what God has provided for us. We have some snacks. You can go through that door or the other uh, door uh, so that we get to the serving point inside. Then you get your serving and then you can go out uh, and find somewhere to sit and enjoy your snack. So thank you all for coming. May the good Lord bless uh, each one of you as you go out, as you come in, and may everything you do prosper and glorify God. So let's pray. Our God and our Father, we bless your name uh, this afternoon. Thank you for your love and your goodness. Thank you, Lord, that you have not gathered us here in vain. Thank you for reminding us, O oh God, that you are our God. You care for us, O oh God. And uh, that, Father, you have uh, given your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our freedom. Help us to stand firm, O oh God. Let us not uh, have ourselves be burdened, O oh God, again by a yoke of slavery. The many things that we have been taught here enslaving us. Thank you for the freedom that you have in you. And as we uh, walk this walk of faith, may we walk with freedom knowing that you have done it for us, almighty God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for whatever situations uh, each one of us may be going through. Help us to keep on uh, uh, remembering that uh, you have overcome for us, O oh God, that no temptation, O oh Lord, is uh, uh, too difficult for us to bear, but you are the one who always gives us a way out, that we may always look up to you for help, for you are our, uh, our, our help in time of need. Thank you, almighty God. Thank you for the snacks that have been provided. May you bless every hand that has provided. And even as we partake of this together, oh God, may you uh, uh, bless it, oh God, as you bless us also, King of glory. We worship you and we exalt you, oh Father. Dismiss us with your blessings. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So welcome. Yes. Golden Ages. <laughs> okay, I'm told Golden Ages to go first. Let us respect age. Eh? Yes, so Golden Ages. <laughs> yeah, let us have... Uh, our senior citizens.